Thank you. Our next question is in the area of health care, and it's for Mr. Cleese. The question is as follows. If you could start with a blank slate with no quasi-religious beliefs in any particular system, what would you propose to allow Ontarians to achieve the best possible health care for themselves and their families within their normal economic capability? What a great question. <laughs> oh, how I wish we had a blank sheet of paper to start with. What we would have is a balance between the public sector and the private sector delivering health care in the most efficient way, giving us the most, the most high quality education anywhere on the planet. That would be the vision. And by the way, we have an example of that in the province of Ontario right now. It's called the Shoulders Hospital. It is located in Thornhill. My colleague Peter Sherman is here. It's his right. This is a private sector hospital funded for Ontarians with OHIP. People come from all over the world to have a hernia operation here in and out in two or three hours. It's been going on for five generations. And you know what it is? There is no, no faith belief, no political involvement here. It's simply, let's deliver the best possible health care we can. I believe we have to break through that barrier in this province. Because if we don't, if we don't allow the private sector to come in and help us deliver health care in an efficient way without compromising universality, without compromising accessibility, in fact, what it'll do is actually enhance accessibility and universality, and it'll be sustainable, because under the current system, my friends, it's not. And we're going to make it transparent. There's no reason why every person when they leave a clinic or the hospital don't get a receipt for the services rendered and how much OHIP has been charged for that. Get a picture of what it is that it actually costs you for those wonderful services that are being pro uh, provided to you now. And I believe when we have that transparency and that balance, we will in fact lead the entire world with a quality health care system.